is real, it's the next episode Hello YouTubers, just want to give you a quick update as to where I am with charging these batteries. Um, I seem to have got through quite a few of the ones that I already had, um, but I've still yet to mine the mountain. Uh, still looking forward to that, but the reason it's going a bit slow is mainly because I'm not here. And when they are charged, I've really got nine of these charging on the go, then I'm not able to come and monitor them, swap them out as soon as light turns green. So that's the reason why it's mainly slow going and also with the discharging as well, the same issue as well. So I'll come in, I'll come into this place two to three times a day and there'll all be green lights and they'll be bleeping. So I'll swap them all out and mark them up and put them in. Even though with the slow progress, I seem to still be um, keeping up. The nine that are charging here are, seem to be almost all right for discharging at the same rate. So the rate of discharge and the rate of charge, the correct ratio but when it comes to recharging them, that's when things slow down and it's a little bit of a bottleneck. So I've got myself 20 more of these TP4056s with the battery holders and I'm going to make a super massive 18650 charging thingy. On top of that, I want to plug in the remainder of the discharging units I have and probably another order another IMAX B6 chargers because I, I like the way that they work. First things first, let's design and create the rig for the 18650 awesomest battery charging thingy. Alright, so here we go, it's all laser cut, this is the mounting board that we're going to use our, our uh, battery holders for. So these will go here, they fit in nicely, as you can see here the pins, as I said before, they stick out, so they will go all along here, recessed slightly. Yep, 
they will fit nicely. And these things will go in here. You see they've got the holes all the way through. I've cut out the square section so this bit here it stays cool and allows for air circulation. Put those all there nicely. And the rest I'll get off the other board there uh, to make up this complete kit. So, I'll have 24 banks here to charge in one go. Awesome. I think it's time to solder. Finally, it's finished, and I haven't even switched it on, so this is the first time I'm going to be switching on. Either it all blows up, or uh, hopefully <laughs> it will work, but let's just see what happens. I'm just going to plug it in. Oh, look at that. Green lights across the board. These, obviously, four are a different batch, but if you can, if I can zoom in, you can see it's pretty good. It's working. Right, I think the true test is plug in the batteries and see what happens. Right, I'm going to plug in the ones that need recharging because I am having a big problem there. Right, start from uh, I'll start from this end. So far, so good. Three. That one there doesn't want to go red. Let's try another one. Ah, uh, that might have some charge in it. Remember, these only come alive if it's three volts or below. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, it's not hot at all. Move this out of the way. There we go! 24! It's 
Done. Okay. The awesome Mr. Battery charging thingy is working. Should be running at 24 amps. I think I'm gonna wait around with this thing. See how it fares. I almost forgot to mention, while the charging board was being laser cut, I thought I'd take the time to design the discharging board. It's very straightforward, very similar principle to how we design the charging board, uh, but for the components for discharging. I've decided to keep the USB cables in case I want to ex expand it, but this is very much just a test board. I may want to redesign the board and have more discharging units to discharge these batteries.